Good evening and welcome to your daily Idaho coronavirus update for June 8th. I'm Joan Cartan Hansen filling in for Melissa Davlin. There are now 3,189 known cases of COVID-19 in Idaho with a total of 83 deaths, according to the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare. Since Friday, the state added 78 new cases and for the seventh day in a row, no new deaths. Governor Brad Little announced today that the state is leveraging federal coronavirus relief funds to help cities and counties. The money will be used to cover the local public safety personnel salaries. Little and legislative leaders say this will give cities and counties a chance to pass the savings along to property taxpayers. The move could provide up to $200 million in property tax relief. Idaho could move into stage four of the state's reopening plan on Friday. In stage four, large venues can reopen, people can visit families in senior living facilities, and gatherings of more than 50 people can resume. But in all cases, physical distancing and other personal protection and sanitation guidelines should be followed. According to reporting in the Idaho Statesman, Idaho is currently meeting four of the six criteria required to move to stage four. Idaho is showing a downward trend in the number of emergency room visits and hospital admissions, and the state's hospitals have enough available intensive care beds and supplies of personal protective equipment. But the average number of new COVID-19 cases has been increasing, and we're also seeing an increase in the number of healthcare workers who have been infected. As of today, the state reports 344 healthcare workers infected, an increase of three since Saturday and 26 in the last few days. The governor will decide on Friday if we can move into stage four. For more news and analysis, check out the Idaho Reports website and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, stay safe, Idaho.